<laughs> What's going on everybody? This is the skinny white kid I've always speaking to and guess what? I just got my Lurs permit, but that's not important because today I'm going to be reviewing Michael Jackson's fifth solo album, Off The Wall, released in 1979. <laughs> now, I don't have the album with me unfortunately, so instead I got a picture of it on my camera. You see Mikey? You see Mikey? Look at that swag! You see that swag? Let me say it again. Do you see that class? Look at that class. Pure class. <laughs> Now, this was Michael Jackson's first album to be produced with the Quincy Jones, who they both became friends with during the production of The Wiz. It, <laughs> the Wiz. Now, I haven't seen the movie that much recently, but from what I remembered, Michael's performance in that movie was spectacular, fantastic, and amazing. <laughs> it got great reviews. The critics loved it. I like it. I love it. There's nothing bad to say about it. It's just a great, timeless, classic album. So, I'm not going to say anything bad about it in this review, so, uh, yeah. Alright, let's get to it, shall we? Alright. Track number one, Don't Stop To The Yeah Enough, which was the first number one hit single from the album, and Michael wrote it. Props to you, man. It has great falsettos. The vocals are good also. That's the same thing, but the instruments are great. Really disco-sounding kind of song. A song is basically about anything you want to interpret it as. His mom at first thought the song was about but nope. Michael said it's about anything you want it to be. So for me, I'm gonna say this is a workout song. So yeah. If you're gonna work out to something to build muscles, listen to this song, alright? You will? Alright. <laughs> alright, off to track number two. Rock with you, which was, from what I believe, is the next number one single from the album. Rod to pretend wrote it, props to you man. The vocals are great, the lyrics are great. It was one of the last hits of the disco era, so I've heard, and yeah, it's just one of my favorites from the album. I love it the way he does it on the Bad Tour. It's a great, great Michael Jackson song. Classic. Alright. <laughs> Alright, next track. Working Day and Night, which I believe could have been released as a single. It could have been, could have done really good on the charts, but sadly it never got released. Which I've heard. Uh, yeah, this is another song Michael wrote for the album. It's really good and extremely funky. You're gonna dance your butt off if you listen to this song. How could you not? There's something wrong with you if you don't listen to this song and don't feel like you want to dance. There's just something wrong with you if you don't dance to this song. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, great lyrics, great vocals. The music is great. Another great Michael Jackson song, if I should say. All right, next track. Get on the floor, which is my number one favorite Michael Jackson song from this album, uh, or my favorite one in, from this album in general. I like them all, but this was my favorite. The vocals on here are extremely good. It has a very danceable beat to it. Maybe disco, I don't know. But it is a very good song. It's basically a jam song, like jamming out on the floor, dancing. Yeah. You'll definitely dance to it if you listen to it, because it is good. All right. One of my favorites. All right. Next track, Off the Wall, which was the next single release and went to number 10 on the charts. And I love the way he does his song live on the Victory Tour and the Bad Tour. And the vocals on here are really good. The music is really good. And it's about relieving your stress and just partying out. Woohoo! Yeah. If you get upset about something like you lost your house, just remember, live your life off the wall and you should be happy. <laughs> Alright. A great song by Michael. I love it. Alright. The next track, which was the last single release. I can't find where the song charted at. I tried looking on Google, but I can't find it. The only thing I found was Janet Jackson's Wikipedia page. What? Anyways, next song, last single release. Girlfriend. Now, this song was... Written for Michael by Paul McCartney when they first became friends, but life projects, life pro projects got, life projects got in the way, but, so they had, they lost contact, yeah. But Quincy Jones found that song one day, and he was like, hey Michael, this song is perfect for you, we should do this one. And Michael's like, uh, Paul, I mean, Quincy, Paul actually wrote that song for, for me in the first place. That is funny! That is funny, man. <laughs> right, anyways, yeah, very poppy sounding song. Michael's vocals really shine on here like he does on every song on this album. 
It's really good. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't the song never did good on the charts? If you read the Moonwalk book, he's kind of said the song never did good on the charts, but that's kind of surprising because it's still a good song. Alright, uh, the next track, She's Out of My Life, which was the fourth track from the album, uh, the fourth, fourth single, I'm sorry, release that went to number 10, and this is a cover Michael Jackson did, and this one Michael made into an emotional song, and at the end you hear him actually sobbing, and the, the thing is, he did like eight takes for it the first time, and he couldn't quit crying at the end because it's just how emotional the song was, so they decided to they, decide, they all decided to keep the ending where he sobs at the end, so, yeah. I love the way he does it on the Bad Tour and the Victory Tour and so on, and, yeah, this song is pretty sad. Yeah, Losing Your Woman, and, yeah. It's a great song, great vocals, great instruments, great music playing, great song, but very sad. <laughs> now, the next track is I Just Can't Help It. Now, this song is kind of like a, how should I say this, uh, it's about like uh, you building so much happiness inside yourself and you just can't control it. You just have to release it somehow and you just have to release your happiness, man. I wish I had that kind of happiness where I just can't contain it and it just all comes out. <laughs> Anyways, yes, uh, the song is I Can't Help It. I don't know who wrote it, but good lyrics. Um, Michael's vocals are really good on this. The music is good. I love it. Just like every other song, if I just say it again. And yeah, really good song. <laughs> Alright, next track. Track number nine. If I Yes, track number nine. It's The Fall New Love, a duet Michael did with Thumb Girl, whose name I do not know. Crap. Anyways, she's not important, probably. Um, anyways, yeah, Michael's vocals are superior to hers. Not trying to be stereotypic or anything, but. <laughs> but, anyways, uh. It's a love song, basically. Um, vocal vocals are good. The lyrics are good. I sort of get the lyrical content a little bit or something. Whatever that meant. Uh, yeah, it's a great song. I love it. And now we're on to the last track. Track number ten. Burn the disco out, baby. Ooh. A great way to end up the album. A very very danceable song it has saxophone in the plane it has saxophone playing in the song uh, which are I, I think they are saxophones I don't know what kind of instruments they are but it's really good and Michael's vocals should I say again for the tenth time really outstanding and there's some parts in it where a voice goes completely deep I believe those are his vocals it's a good song Great instruments playing, good lyrics, good singing ability. Michael's a good singer. And yes, a great way to end up the album. Alright. My thoughts. Uh, this is a great album. It does deserve the recognition it uh, receives, receives. And it won some awards in 1980. Won 3-8. Some American Musical Awards. Three awards from that category. Uh... It only won one Grammy, and that really sucks, because it should have won record in a year. So, Michael got upset about that, felt it should have made a much bigger impact, and his next goal was to make his next album to be the best-selling best album of all time, which he, which he succeeded with Thrilla, which is going to be my next album review. So, thank you all for watching this, and you all have a good night. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> oh!